Okay, uh, this is Aileen. Hello, how are you? Uh, today I'm doing um, a review on uh, Source Naturals Progesterone Cream and Source Naturals Estrogen Cream. Um, these are non-GMO, soy, paraben-free, um, advanced lipo liposomal <laughs> delivery. I'm so sorry, I am not a medical person, so I don't know how to pronounce these complicated things. Basically, these are uh, bioidentical hormone replacement therapy creams, um, progesterone and estrogen. Um, most commonly used for um, women who have hormonal imbalance. Uh, for me, that is due to uh, perimenopause which, don't let the white hair fool you, I am not old enough for that. Uh, I have gone into early menopause because of um, the autoimmune disease, vitiligo, which causes the white hair and white spots and stuff. So um, I have found these to be wonderful. Um, I'm going to kind of go into what I like about them, what I don't like about them, um, and the ways to use them. So... Uh, Personally, I've tried a couple of different estrogen um, supplements, which did not uh, did not take care of all the symptoms I needed them to. Uh, and so, I tried the estrogen cream, uh, tried a few others, and then just came back to the estrogen cream because this worked better than anything else. Uh, for me, it did help with hot flashes. It helped with uh, dryness and itch issues. Um, it helped with, let's see what else, um, it's kind of hard to tell what helps with what because you're taking a whole bunch of different things for different symptoms, but I can tell you for sure it helped with the hot flashes and the dryness and itch, um, which was ridiculous to deal with. So, um, the way that I take these is, um, I use... Oral syringes, which they just look like this. They do not have a needle in them. They just simply have um, measurements on them, which the the best way to take um, a hormonal cream is to measure it out and take that same amount every single day. So what I do is I measure out um, half of this syringe, which is 0.5 milliliters, and I take that... Um, Sorry, there's a, a gnat flying around my face. <laughs> um, so I, I fill them up, and then I just have them in a little bag. Um, the estrogen I take in the morning. Uh, the progesterone I take in the evening. Um, and the way that I do that is I just uh, rub them into my bare shoulders. Um, basically, the shoulders, the thighs, or the wrists are the best place to do those, and I'm not sure why. Um, I just know that from... Uh, learning about um, hormone replacement therapy creams. So that is what I found out for that. If, if I'm wrong, please feel free to tell me in the comments, but that's what I understand. And um, putting them on my shoulders has been um, a wonderful delivery system. Uh, I like to do uh, 0.5 because for me that works. If you don't feel a difference in your symptoms, feel free to go up to the whole syringe or the actual instructions on the back of this uh, says, um, let's see, uh, pseudoestrogen cream offers some of the finest cytoestrogen renowned for using during menopause, formulated with a variety of botanical extracts, including aloe vera, dong quai, red clover, we have indicated the emulsifier lectin for a smooth, rich cream. Each contains 60 milligrams of soy isoflavins as well as 150 milligrams of pomegranate juice extract. Store in a cool, dry place. Uh, warning, do not use if pregnant, maybe pregnant or breastfeeding. Do not use if even tempered evidence seal is broken or missing. Keep out of reach of children. Um, oh yeah, here we go. Suggested use massage half a teaspoon of cream twice daily into a smooth skin area such as wrist, face, throat, or chest. For topical use only, uh, do not use 
on mucous membranes, individual needs may vary, cream may be used throughout the month. So um, it doesn't, it, it says half a teaspoon, which half a teaspoon, uh, you have no idea what measurement that is as far as milliliters, and it says twice a day. So obviously um, you, you're going to want to measure your use and then um, increase or decrease uh, with the way you're feeling, if it's um, helping out or if it's not helping out. Uh, also, I would recommend giving it at least a month because a lot of times the hormone imbalances in your body take a while to adjust. Um, I have started using the progesterone. I haven't been using this as long as the estrogen, um, probably only about a month. And so I will say it has helped with night sweats, um, which is helpful because that's a really... Um, not fun symptom to deal with. Um, I'm hoping that this will help with added appetite and libido, but it hasn't yet. So um, I would recommend using them one at a time. If you use both of them, it's going to be hard to gauge what's working and what's not and, and what to, to dose differently. So um, if you are hormone imbalanced and you've gotten a test, that is a great way to see what you're um, deficient in. Um, if you haven't gotten a test, I would recommend it. It is not required um, to, to get the test done before you take these. These are over-the-counter. I purchased mine on Amazon, um, but it, it, does, it would just make a little bit less guesswork for you if you did have the test and you knew what you were um, deficient in. Um, I also do take a testosterone. Um, which is a very small dosage. It's like a 0.25 um, milliliters, whatever ml is, um, per day. And that has helped with um, waking up, having a little bit more energy uh, throughout the day. And it has also helped with weight loss, which I know a lot of um, women going through uh, the hormonal issues have an issue with. However, I want to preface that with saying that it did take six months for any weight loss to happen. Six months of consistent use of the testosterone cream. That was not over the counter. That was um, put together by, by a mixing pharmacist and was prescribed by a doctor. So um, I would recommend trying both of these. Uh, as far as the testosterone goes, I did try some testosterone boosters because I thought that would be better to encourage my body to produce it itself than to add. But the boosters uh, simply just gave me chest pains and some other adverse side effects. And so I, I discontinued use of those. Um, that may not be the truth for you, but if you're feeling the same way I did, that a booster would be better than the uh, bioidentical, it, that may not be the case. So, um, sorry if that was a whole lot of extra information. But um, that would conclude my um, review of the... Source Naturals, Natural Progesterone, and Estrogen Cream. And these are considered uh, bioidentical HRT. So if you're considering going on hormone replacement therapy, I know there are people who consider one way better than the other. I am for it just because it has been um, the only thing that helped me gain my sanity back. Um, uh, the estrogen also helped with some of the mental issues that um, are associated with hormone imbalance. So hope that helped. If you guys had any questions that I didn't address with these supplements, uh, please drop them in the comments. And uh, if you're wondering about another supplement, um, feel free to ask. I, if, I, if I've taken it, I'll be happy to do a review. If I haven't, I can um, maybe look into it. But that is it for today. Hope you guys had a, have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. All right, bye.